Oh, this is going to be a fun one because I've been looking forward to having Tyrell Adams, inside linebacker on Drew's Dozen. We're going to ask him 12 questions, and we start with this. How come many of your teammates say you're the funniest Texan on the squad? <laughs> it's partly because I'm very goofy, so I do some very goofy things at times. And honestly, it's because of my social media. On my social media, I say some pretty funny stuff. I'm always acting out. Just being myself, like making goofy comments. It's just me, period. I just like to enjoy life and be goofy. I'm really prideful on keeping your youth. So a part of that is being goofy at all times. So you're goofy at all times. How about on the rest of the squad? Who makes you laugh? Oh, that's an easy one. Dylan Cole. Dylan Cole is hilarious. Why? If you follow him on Twitter, <laughs> he is the funniest person ever because his comments be hilarious on other people's stuff. He always comment on teammate stuff. Coming in on just like anything, and it's so funny and random, but it'd be hilarious. All right. Which planet would you visit and why? Which planet would I visit? Oh, that's a good one. And you're going to be safe, you know, no matter which way, you, you know, like you'll be protected from heat, from cold, from pressure, et cetera, et cetera. All things being equal, which one would you like to see most? Hmm. Probably Saturn. Okay. I'm going to Saturn. You're the, I've asked this question of three of you now, and you're the second guy to have said Saturn. Uh, you also had a teammate, uh, Eric Murray. He said uh, Mercury. So Saturn's a good one. Is it because of the rings, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to see the rings. I want to see the rings. All right. So I understand you have children or a daughter. Or... Yeah, I got a daughter. All right. How old is your daughter? Five. Five. All right. What's the most challenging part of being a dad? Uh, probably the patience. <laughs> um, I know for sure she ch tests my patience a lot now. And with her growing and getting so smart now, we were literally just on the phone, and she's kind of like learning how to like send me messages from my iPad, not complete sentences, but just mm -hmm. emojis. So she'll send me emojis and pictures, and then it's just hilarious, like how she'll randomly send me someone. She'll just call me like in the middle of a meeting, and I feel like until I, I have to call you back, I'm in a meeting right now. Or it's just it's just it's just being patient with her, just watching her grow. That's probably the most challenging part. I like it. What's uh what's the emoji you use most often with her? I said a kissy face and she always like, why are you kissing me all the time? I just <laughs> like kissing you. Is it the regular little kissy face or is it the unicorn kissy face? Cause there's options, right? Unicorn kissy face. All right, cool. I use that too with my wife. So that's yeah. good. And we've got four kids. If they used emojis, I'd probably use that with them. Uh, okay. What movie or show of hers that she watches do you enjoy the most? Oh, Hotel Transylvania. We really? both enjoy that movie. Pretty good? Yeah, she watches all three of them. I love them, too. I love Hotel Transylvania. I'm going to have to check that out. All right. That's, uh, that's going to be put into the rotation. Um, what's the last thing that you cooked? The last thing I cooked. You really want to know? I do. <laughs> I cooked some ramen noodles all Sunday right. after the game. <laughs> Not that, so that was your post-victory meal, huh? Post victory meal. I posted it on Instagram. That's my post victory meal. Some ramen noodles. I don't know why I was craving ramen noodles, but I was. All right, that brings up this. This opens up a can of worms. It's multifaceted. When I hear this, do you do them with like the hot water that you put and you just cover for three minutes, or do you do it in the the uh, the saucepan on the stove, or do you micro? How yeah. do you make, how do you make yours? So I do them on the saucepan on the stove. Okay. Boil the water and throw them in there. And then Old cook school. Them like a couple minutes and then. It's challenge time. Okay. And what's the flavor you go with? I go with chicken every time. I can't go anywhere else but chicken. You don't like the uh, spicy lime shrimp? No. Uh-uh. I got to stick to chicken. I don't know why. I can't. And I had this debate also. It's literally one pack is not enough, but two packs is too much. So yeah. I don't, I can never, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's like a pack and a third, I think would pack and a yeah. third to a pack and a half is like the, the happy medium, yeah. Exactly, but see, growing up how I grew up, my mom, you ain't you ain't taking a third of a pack. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Can't waste better, another two thirds. You better not waste any. That's right. Waste <laughs> one night. Okay, if you had a magical power, which magical power would you want to have? Oh, what magical power? Probably the ability to disappear. So disappear or just be invisible? Be invisible. Be invisible. Be invisible? Okay. All right. All uh, right. The favorite thing. What's the favorite thing for you to get complimented on? Whether it's football or whether it's just you know something in your personal life. 
probably my dance moves when I'm dancing. I'm a dancer, so. <laughs> what sort of stuff do you dance to? It doesn't matter. Like, as long as the, the song has a good beat and it's real vibey, I'm going to get jiggy to it. So were you dancing when you were just like a little kid in the living room? I mean, were you just Yeah, always- I was – even through high school, I was a big dancer. I was always somewhere dancing. Like, if a song played and I liked it, I'm going to be moving and grooving for sure. So I know you have – so th- that m- that must mean you know what your touchdown celebration dance will be when – I know what it's going to be. What is it? Right. What would you do? <laughs> this is this is this is funny dance of um I can't think of the show but it's like when you bend down and you pop your knee it's it's hilarious well, trust me when I do it you'll know all right well do me a favor score a few touchdowns for us so we can see this dance that, that cool with you exactly. all right That's all I, do. I wholly uh, I wholly uh, back that okay what well, uh what is the perfect Thanksgiving plate so when you go perfect through the line what's on it what's on it Ooh. All right, so first we gotta have some turkey. What type? Uh, I like my turkey fried. Fried, good choice. Deep fried turkey. I I hadn't had it till last year, and literally changed my life. Yep. So some turkey. You gotta have a cook, like a slice or two of ham on there. Uh huh. Um, some mac and cheese, some collard greens, some yams. I'm not a really a big stuffing guy, so no stuffing. It's too mushy. Um, let's see what else. I like I like I like lima beans. Okay, that's different. And, and some cornbread. Cornbread. What what about for dessert? Dessert we have in sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie, nothing else? Sweet potato pie. Fair enough. I like it. Okay, last one. Would you rather be a dragon or own a dragon? Own a dragon for sure. Okay. You're not about uh, you're you're fine being that's a human. No question about I want to own a dragon. Tyrell Adams, you delivered the goods, my friend. You're playing great on the field. You're winning at Drew's Dozen, giving great answers. Thanks so much for your time. Best of luck as the season goes on. Hope we get a victory on Sunday, and hope we do this again with you very soon. Sound good? For sure, man. I appreciate you having me.